So guys, so obviously this is Jack. And what I wanted to do is just show you real quick how this draft is going to go. Uh, the expansion draft. I'm going to expand this a little bit um, and kind of go over um, just an example of what it's going to look like. First, round one, every ASPL team, you know, reserves their best players. And I just kind of grab what I thought might be the best players, but I know some of them are some of them are not right. The next thing is, is that based on the expansion teams, and we're going to flip a coin to see, or not flip a coin, but at random, we're going to figure out who's going to get first, second, third. So we'll put the team team names up here, okay, um, as far as the expansion, one, two, and three. And they'll go in a snake format, okay, as far as their choices. So every time they make a choice, then something may happen in here, obviously. Uh, the first three choices they get, let's say this guy wants first choice, he wants, you know, Chelsea. The next guy can also pick from Chelsea. He doesn't have to pick from one of the other two teams. What we want to do is they need to pick the best player, uh, you know, that's available of the three teams, right? So that's that's really what this is. It's just you know getting ready for the draft. Then everybody has one player. Then these guys get first pick after that. So these guys will actually uh, choose a player. And they can either choose a player from the uh, expansion teams here, or they can choose a team, I'm sorry, a player from the ASPL teams. So let's say that that person wants to choose an ASPL team. So come down here to ASPL. Of course, the ones in, you know, the ones have already got colored and they're already taken. So I'm just going to scroll down here and I just want, now you can't choose a goalkeeper until the 11th round. All right. But, um, so let's say he he's a big fan of Sinchenko, and he knows that Sinchenko is the next year playing for Arsenal for under Arteta. So he says, okay, I want this guy. So Zinchenko will then be placed on here, okay? And, of course, Zinchenko – I don't know if that's right spelling or not. Uh, but anyway, Sinchenko was part of Mercy Beats. So the thing is we come back here, and we say that under Mercy Beats – which is right here, Mercy, Sinchenko is lost here. All right? So at that point, okay, that means, you know, Mercy can no longer be drafted. No player can be drafted from his team for this, the end of the, the remainder of this round and the next two rounds. So basically that's what I'm filling in here, okay? In addition, Mercy gets to choose a replacement from the three EPL expansion teams for Zinchenko. Zinchenko is a pretty good player, but anyway, so then what we do is we go to here, or at least Mercy would go to here and try to find a replacement player that he thinks will be, you know, as good as Zinchenko or whatever. doesn't have to be the same position. can be somebody completely different. Okay, so let's just take Martinelli, okay? So Martinelli is coming off of Arsenal. So we come back to here. He's going to take... Martinelli, and we're going to place him over here under Arsenal. And this is where the Arsenal column does matter. Okay. Now, in addition to that, because they can't draft anybody off the team of the next two rounds from his team, we're going to want, um, you know, two players that he wants to keep. So let's say he's going to keep Lookman and uh, uh, let's say. Da -da -da -da, Luke Shaw, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and Luke Shaw and then Lookman. It doesn't really matter which order we put this in, but in the green section here, Lookman and Shaw. All right. So that's the first pick of round one. You see how much work there is here. So again, what he does, he picks Zincheco. All he does is state that. Then the ASPL team has to give me or give us the player that he wants to choose off of the other three teams to replace Sinchenko, plus the two best players, the next two best players on his team, so that nobody else can can draft that player. So at the end of the whole draft, a anybody that has a green or blue player, that's yours, but anybody that has an orange or red, I don't know what, what color you want to call it, but that's the one that you lost, okay? I mean, uh, this guy, you know, Arsenal, in a sense, lost it to, uh, I'm sorry, lost it to um, uh, Mercy. And then Zinchenko was lost to him, but it went over to this guy. 
So now it's his turn. Okay. And so he's going to choose, let's say he's going to go ahead and choose from, uh, from the existing clubs, lots of talent. Cause it, it, you know, theoretically ASPO has the top, ASPO has the top seven teams, which really isn't true, but, uh, just to say that it does. And he decides to uh, go with uh, Diogo Ch- Jota. So uh, we're just going to highlight him as being drafted. Okay. And then we're going to come over here. We're going to put Jota. And Jota was part of Wakefield. So right here, under Wakefield, he loses Jota. Okay. And right away, what I like to do is put these X's in just to make sure we don't forget. So I'll take that, copy it, and uh, do it here. And then, of course, the next two rounds. And I'll get that done. And, then of course, what he's going to do now, same thing as the other one, is he's going to pick, you know, Mike for Wakefield. We'll go ahead and pick uh, a team from the new EPL teams. And let's say he's going to go with, um, do, 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 do. Uh, let's get, you know, he was really weak on defense last year. So I'm going to say James. Is who he's going to pick from Chelsea. So come back here in the blue, we'll put in James. Okay. And then, of course, Chelsea loses James. And then what we'll do is uh, pick the two players. He's going to pick the two players from his club that he wants to hang on to, the next two players. So let's say, um, uh, da, 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 da. yeah. I'm not going to do Ian Nacho because it's too hard to spell. Um, Mane, even though he's gone next year, but he's still good, a good card for this year, 34 games. That's great. So let's say he's going to reserve Mane, and he's going to reserve um, another defender, Salsic. Okay, so, um, so we come back to this, and we're just going to basically do Mane and Salsic. Okay. Then this third person decides, okay, well, I just want somebody from the new teams. So he's going to go in here and take a look at these three new teams. And he might say, um, you know, this guy right here, Jacob Murphy, 33 games. I looked at his card, St. Maximum, you know, uh, 35, Joe Linton. I mean, there's, there's a lot of pretty good players here maybe, but uh, let's just say that he's going to go with Murphy. So Murphy from the, uh, Newcastle team. Okay. So we'll come back over here. We're going to put Murphy here. And then we're going to put Murphy here. The same row as he lost them. All right. So that's it for the first round. The first round is done for these guys. They've got two players and whoever lost the player retained them and so on and so forth. Then what we do is every team that didn't lose a player will put in their next best player. Okay, as a reserve. All right, we, they've already done it for this one. He's already done it for these two. But we're, we're going to put them in here and here. Just these five teams need to put that in there. And off we go. So I'm just going to real quick grab a bunch of players. So starting at the top. Uh, so Canterbury, I'm going to say Matip just to, just to have a name here. And again, I'm not, I don't care who's really good. Or, I mean, I've got my own list as well. So Matip. All right, and then Castle Combe, uh, let's say Bailey. And then the next one is going to be Georgetown. He's going to go with Diop. I'm actually picking these names because they're short. So uh, go here, Diop. And then the next one is going to be Ipswich which they're going to go with McGinn. Whoops, I forgot to uh, Georgetown Diop, right? And before that was Bailey, right? And my tip was mine, so good. I got all those. Uh, McGinn, he's going to go with McGinn. So, uh, and then Portsmouth. I'm down to Portsmouth, and let's say he decides on, um, you know, Kanza. No, not Kanza. He's a, a, a whatever. Um, Origi. 
All right, so make sure that he's picked. And then come back down and Origi. So you can kind of see how this is, but I'm going to go one more round just to show you the next piece. So again, this is Snake. So now it's still, you know, whoever number one was, he went first. Now he's going to get his third player. And let's say he goes into the, um, you know, into the fold here. And he says, hey, you know, um, let's say I want Ross Barkley from Wakefield. So then he's, again, uh, whoops, hold on. I might not be able to do that. Ross Barkley, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, so you come back over here. Yeah, see, Wakefield, I can't choose from in this round. I'm glad I caught myself because that, that makes a lot of sense. So I can only choose from the first four teams, but I can't choose from Mercy or Wakefield. So you can choose from any team except those two. All right, so he comes in here, and he still decides, all right, well, let me pick somebody from uh, Canterbury. All right, and he wants to pick a really good defender, Henderson. So he picks Henderson and from Canterbury in the second round. So that would go here. Okay. And then again, I like to grab this stuff right away and paste this in. So the rest of that round, as well as the next two rounds, are unavailable. All right. So now Hen now these got now he's going to pick up Henderson. Uh, now, um, I, you know, Canterbury has to choose uh, a team from the expand, I mean, a player from the expansion team. So this, you can do this. You might now, as far as the a ASPL guys, if you lose a defender, you might want to pick up a defender, you know, stuff like that, uh, if you want to. Um, here's uh, Ben White. I actually been watching the Arsenal show. I like him. So I'm going to put him on my team. Um, so let's come back here. So White. Okay, and he's from the Arsenal team as well. Okay, and uh, and then my next two players. So I come back in here and I say, you know what? Um, to, to do, I always like the, you know, Anderson, Joaquin Anderson. Now, uh, he's on Crystal Palace now, okay? And that's okay because he was on another team that was part of the seven teams that we had originally. But if you have a player that actually moves from one of the original teams that you had or any team, they can move to any other, you know, um, you know, EPL team and they still play in our league. So uh, so Anderson is still a good player. So I'm going to keep Anderson because he played so many games, obviously. And I'm going to pick Dyer. All right. So those are the two I'm going to keep. So I'm going to go in here and say Anderson. And I'm going to say Dyer. Okay. Now we have the next guy pick. Okay. So so now he can't pick from these three teams here. He can only pick from the four. So I think he's going to just pick on Georgetown and pick somebody from there. Because uh, John Cochran's got such a great team. <laughs> so anyway, he's going to he's gonna pick up uh, Mora. Because he's got a lot of uh, touches, a lot of games. All right. So you come back here. And off of Georgetown, second row here. So this is Mora. And, of course, Mora goes over here as well. So now John gets to choose, you know, a player, any player from the three teams, right, from the three expansion teams. So let's say he's going to go with um, 35 St. Maximum. Okay. Played forward 35 times, 35 and so that's who he's going to replace it with, and he planned for Newcastle. So come over here, and we're going to place St. Maximum. And come over here. Whoops, no, not that one. Over here, uh, Newcastle. And, yeah, this is where he took him. So St. Maximum. All right. And don't forget that we gotta select this and make sure that nobody all right so now it's again this person's turn okay um, now the third person 
and he's going to go after somebody from it switch. So this is where three picks, I mean, you could have three and then three. And that way the next person or the next round is only, you know, you know, the, these guys and these, you only get the four choices there and that's it. So, um, so anyway, so this guy is going to go ahead and choose, you know, again, somebody from it switch. So I'm going to look at that team real quick and just pop, find somebody. Oh, wait, uh, one last thing. Yeah, you guys see, this is where you guys will catch me doing this. I got to pick his next, next two best players, next two best players. So, uh, you know, Georgetown or, or John will send me, um, you know, the two players that he wants to hang on to. Um, let's say he wants to hang on to Luis and Ilanga. All right, so I'm going to mark those guys as gone. And come back to the thing here and say Luis and Ilanga. All right. So, and then again, this guy, now it's this guy's turn for the final pick of the second round. And he's going to pick on Ipswich. I'm going to keep, I'm going to keep picking on Ipswich for a while. <laughs> anyway, um, thing is Pogba's only got this year and then he's gone next year. So that's, that's a chance. If you want to, if you want him for this year, you can, there's nothing so you can't, but watch these no cards. Okay. There's no card for this year. But if you take a look at some of these guys, they might be playing for another EPL team next year. So they are eligible to be drafted, even though there's no cards. All right. So let's say he wants to take Ben Davies. All right. He's going to grab Ben Davies from Ipswich. So come back to here. And uh, Ipswich here, this pick, Davies. And Davies. And then, of course, he needs a he needs a replacement. So he's going to go to the English Premier League teams, and he's going to find a replacement. I'm just going to put in somebody like uh, Smith Rowe, which is a very good player. And so he's going to replace him with Smith Rowe. And of course, that came from Arsenal. Smith Rowe. And you see how these games, you know, this guy, these guys, Chelsea's only lost one player, which, you know, kind of mind boggling because this is a crazy draft that I'm doing. All right. But, um, you know, that could very well happen. So, um, so now don't forget this. I want to grab that again, copy, and then one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I'm going to pick two players on Ipswich team that he's going to keep. So I'll come back to this. And Ipswich, right in the middle here, um, he's going to keep Mendy. Um, interesting. Oh, okay, that's Benjamin Mendy. Yeah, he's going to keep Mendy. Mem Mendy. And he's going to keep. Uh, now, see, Ming's playing for, is playing for Aston. I mean, he's at Aston Villa. I'm sorry, Aston Villa is in a league. I forget. So let's say it's going to go with Mendy and Mings, just so that it's easy to spell here. Okay, so right here I'm going to put Mendy. You know, I'm going to put Benjamin Mendy. Ben, Mendy. And then Mings. All right. So now you see how the – um, you see that the three Arsenal teams – I mean, I saw three expansion teams – you know, there are three pay players. I mean, it, it feels like we're actually drafting these three teams are drafting from these three teams, but they're not. They have access to all of our teams, but we get to keep uh, most of our teams here. But there's plenty of choices between them. I mean, this is a super gracious, you know, you know, system where, you know, so, some of these teams might be very, very good at the end and they should be able to compete against us. You know, easy. All right. So, um, you know. Not that they should win it. I mean, I don't know if they will or not, but uh, this is this is just how we're going to do it. It should turn out really good. Should should really turn out really even. Now, all that's theoretical. You know, we all have our subjective opinions, right? So we might think certain player is much best, better than another player, and then the next guy says, "Man, he's an idiot." So and that's fine by me. Um, but uh, so therefore, it's never going to be perfect. It's not going to be uh, you know completely perfect. So this round, round eleven, is the goalkeeper round. And this is where, you know, these players can choose from a, a keeper from any one of these teams. 
you know, there there is no reserving of a player right here. All right. Um, actually, I said any player here. It's really supposed to be any goalkeeper. I, I messed that up. I'll change this to must be a goalkeeper, must be a goalkeeper. That's the way it should be. And there's no res reserving of players here. They have to skip around. So let me uh, – anyway. So, yeah, that's how we would do it. I just want to take that out. All right. And that way, during this round, uh, this guy would choose a keeper from any team. Uh, and then if he if one of these guys loses the keeper, then he can pick a keeper from one of these guys. All right. The ASPL owners can reserve your keeper up here. Don't forget that. If you don't want to lose your keeper, reserve them up here. The thing is, your 10th best player, you know, will be available, you know, um, you know, later on. I mean, basically, if, if there's no keepers to choose from, then the, then the, you know, the new expansion teams will just have to choose from the uh, existing keeper that are there. I remember on your team, uh, when you have your final 25-man roster, it has to have at least one keeper that has played more than 50% of the English Premier League games. So you have to have that, all right? So make sure that it is part of your plans. Um, this just takes us up to the 17 rounds. The reason why the 17 rounds is because after that, the ASPL teams are going to drop eight players to get down to 17. All right, and then we're going to have our incoming premier draft, incoming player draft, where those extra players, 18 through 25, as well as any um, newly carded players, because if you notice, in the, I mean, uh, you know, th there's, there's, no, you know, there's nothing in here with the new cards that were there this year that was there this year. I mean, uh, last year. Okay, so the new cards are the, like the rookie draft. And so that's what the incoming player draft really is. It's more like a rookie draft. And so th therefore, everybody can choose from that. At the end of that, we'll have a waiver draft. Most people just waive the waiver draft. But if, let's say, you find a player that's on, you know, that's that's available that nobody else wants, you have a right to go ahead and take as many rounds you want uh, and replace some of the players that you have for, for a player that's sitting that wasn't drafted. Uh, it's pretty rare because most of the good players are drafted. By the way, in the incoming player draft, that's when we bring in the new EPL team to replace Fulham because they're all new incoming players unless they were, you know, traded to Brighton. Okay? If they were traded to Brighton during the uh, during the offseason last year, they might have a card on Brighton and somebody else over here already owns them. Okay? So uh so just letting you know that um that's that's how this draft will work. Uh we'll go through the end. I think everybody knows how how it runs now. It's pretty straightforward. And, uh, you know, let me know if you have any questions. I might have missed something. I might have to re-record this. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.